Hallelujah. We give glory to the almighty God, the creator of the universe, the king of kings, and the Lord of lords. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are worthy to be praised this morning. It is by your power, by your might, by your authority that you have given us another year. Father, if it wasn't by you, we could have not make it to this 2021. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are a faithful God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We thank you for another day. May your name be exalted and praised in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, I welcome each and every one this morning on Prophet Kennewood TV, Pillar of Christ. I greet you because this is another year. 2020 has gone. This is another year, 2021. May you all be blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, this is empty vessel. May you speak through me and let your word come forth in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, we have a word from our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is going to speak through us so that we know the word of God. The title of the message is Highway of Holiness. And without wasting time, we go to Isaiah 35 and the verses eight to nine. And I read, a highway shall be there and a road and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean, the unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for the others. Whosoever walk the road, although a fool shall not go astray, no lion shall be there nor shall any ravens blast, or shall any raven beast go up on it. It shall not be found there, but it shall redeem, but the redeemed shall walk there. 10. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their forehead, they shall obtain joy and gladness. And the sorrow and shining shall flee away. Hallelujah. We give all the glory to our God. This was by our minor major prophet, prophet Isaiah, that let us know in Isaiah 35. The prophet Isaiah, it was revealed to him about the holy city, which is where you and I are trying to go. He is describing the great city how it look, and those who can go through it. So let us go through one by one. The verse eight, let us know who has to go through the highway of the holiness. He must be a person that God has called with holiness and righteousness. So those 
who can go through the highway of this holiness? It's talking about, the prophet was talking about heaven. It says, the unclean, they shall not enter. Meaning, with a spotted garment, you cannot enter. The evil spirit, the witches, the wizard, the mermaid spirit, they cannot, they don't have the access to enter or to go through that highway. Also, it means the fools and the unclean everything can never ever enter this highway of cleanliness. Two, those who cannot enter this highway are with a spotted in their garments. The unrighteousness, those who are not righteous before God, those who are not clean or those who are not followers. If you have not accepted Christ, there is no way you can go through this highway. Hallelujah. And the nine says, this highway is for those with a clean, unspotted garment. Those who are righteous, those who are holy. So, is your body, is it clean before God? Are you leading a clean life so that you can go through this highway of holiness? We give him all the glory. Hallelujah. As a follower of our Lord Jesus Christ, you know sin. Holy Spirit dwell in you. You fellowship with Holy Spirit daily. You lead your life daily for God. So eventually, you can go through this highway. Soon and soon, our Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Are we prepared to go with him on this holy highway of holiness? Oh, beloved, it is time. Another year has come. We cannot do what we were doing before. The evil things that we were doing, we have to change our ways to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us continue. The verse nine says that this holiness shall be for those who know sin. And that place with everlasting joy on their forehead. Here is telling us that if your name is written in the book of life, you will be with him. God knows his children and God knows his children by allowing them for their garment to be white. And there is a seal, a mark on his children. That's why the nine says, with everlasting joy on their forehead. Hallelujah. Let us stay and do right thing before our God. This body should be so clean. This body should be so holy without any filthiness in our hearts. Beloved, 
let us be eager to go with the, our Lord Jesus Christ. Because this highway, only the righteous go through it. Let us continue and know what Prophet Isaiah is telling us. In Isaiah 25, and the verse is 25, 6. Let's hear the word of God. And I read. And in that, and in this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of choice of pieces, a feast with wine on their heel, a fat thing full of marrow a well-refined wine on their leaves. Beloved, this is what God, our Lord Jesus Christ, when we be with him, this is the feast. So beloved, are we prepared to go with our Lord? Hallelujah. We continue in Isaiah 65 and the verses 19. Let's hear what Isaiah 19 says. And her people a joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and the joy of my people, the voice of the weeping shall no more longer be heard in her, nor a voice of crying. This is what prophet Isaiah is telling us, that in heaven, there is no weeping. When we be with God, we won't cry no more. Our Lord is calling us. Beloved, let us prepare to meet our maker. I will sing a song to glorify our God. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king. Beloved, let us try our best so that we will never be lost. He is coming soon for his people. He's saint. So, beloved, this afternoon, you and I, are we the saint of God? Do we know him? Can we go with him? This is a question for each and every one, including me. Beloved, we continue. Revelation 7 and the verse is 17. For the lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to the living fountain of water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Beloved, this is what 
Revelation written by John is telling us that the shepherd, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, the lamp of God, when we be with him, he will wipe our tears. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. A life which is everlasting. There is no death. It's going to be a joyful to worship the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Beloved, we have to serve him so that we can make it. Our life has to be holy for him because our God is so holy. May you and I change our ways to be with that Lord so that this year, the old things that we did in 2020, we will never do it in this year, which is 2021. May the Almighty God, may Jehovah, may the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our teacher, our friend, help us to live a holy life so that our garment will be holy when he appear, so that we be with him. We give him all the glory. And what we have read, may we practice it so that we be with him forever, where there will be no tears, where there is no death. This is where you and I have to try and be there. We give him all the glory. We thank him for another day like this because we have opportunity to change our ways as tomorrow it will be too late. Holy Spirit guide us to lead a clean life so that our garment will be spotless. We thank the Lord. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor for allowing us to hear a message like this. Because this is what each and every one of us need to change our ways. May his will shall be done in our life. We thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord for your power, for your might, and your authority. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I take this opportunity by God Almighty, his servant that is using. May he continue to use him mightily to win souls, souls for God's kingdom. May God help Prophet Kanew to do what he has called him and also the family and also the listeners. May you avail yourself to listen to him, Prophet Kenewu, through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will guide the listeners to listen to Prophet Kenewu, the end time prophet. May you all be blessed. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.